Hi everyone, welcome back to Ask Octopus. My name's Ryan, and this is the series where we answer your questions about Octopus Deploy. Today's question is, how do I add my Azure credentials to Octopus? If you're looking to deploy an Azure web app or an ARM template, Terraform, or just use the Azure CLI from Octopus, you're gonna to need to add an Azure account into your Octopus server. Okay, here we have my Azure portal. I have a resource group with a web app inside of it. To be able to update these through Octopus, I need to add a app registration. To do that, I navigate to Azure Active Directory, navigate down to App Registrations, choose New Registration, give it a name, and then click Register. And now I've got an app registration. I'll take some of these details to create the Azure account within Octopus. But first, I need to give it some permissions to the subscription in the resource group. I'm going to navigate over to subscriptions and then choose my subscription and navigate to access control. Now from here I'm going to click add, add role assignment, and I'm going to choose the role. Now if you want it to be able to create new resource groups for your subscription, you'll likely need contributor or something with equal permissions to make those updates. At a bare minimum, you'll need the reader role, which is what I'm going to give my app registration. I need it to be able to read details from my subscription. So I'm going to choose that and then ask Octopus and click Save. And then I want to navigate to the resource group that I want it to be able to update. So head over to my resource group, same panel. We're going to look at the access control. We're going to add a role assignment. And in this case, we're going to choose contributor so that it can actually update that web app within the, the resource group. So again here, find my app registration and click Save. Very good, all right, so we've got an app registration now. Let's see how we add it to Octopus. Uh, so you see my Oct Octopus dashboard here. I'm gonna to navigate to Infrastructure. From Infrastructure down to Accounts, I'm gonna to choose to add an account and it's gonna be a Azure subscription. So we'll give it a name and then we'll scroll down to the Azure details. So I'm gonna need the subscription ID, which I can get from here, the overview. Copy that, and we'll paste it into the subscription ID. The authentication method, I'm using the service principle. This is the default and the recommended and the one we're covering today. So we're gonna leave that as the default option. And now I need the tenant ID, application ID, and a password. And we get this from the app registration itself. So we'll navigate back to Azure Active Directory, back to app registrations, click on Ask Octopus, and we have those values, or at least two of those values here. So the client ID is the application ID, we'll copy that. And that goes in the application ID field. We'll go back and get the directory or tenant ID and that is going to go into this tenant ID field. And then we need a password. And to get that, we navigate to certificates and secrets, and we add a new client secret. And we'll say this is for Ask Octopus uh, demo site. And we can choose an expiration date. We'll leave it at a year. That's good for a default. And click add. Now it's going to generate this password for us and we will copy that and paste it into the password key field. Now there are some other options as well as setting like the Azure environment. You can also restrict this to an Octopus environment. So this subscription may only be available for your dev environment or your production environment. You can also associate it with different tenants if you're doing multi-tenant deployments. Uh, I'm not doing either of these things today. So I've got the details in. The last step for me is to click save and test. So this should come up and hopefully will be green. Uh, yes, so it's actually been able to authenticate this Azure account in Octopus to that app registration in my subscription in Azure. So I'll click OK. And just to show one more piece of validation, we'll go to deployment targets, click on add, click on Azure and Azure web app. And I'm not going to save this. So we'll we'll ignore the top half of this. I just want to come down to the Azure piece, I can choose my Azure account that we just added. And then I can see 
my Azure Web App. So I can create this as a deploying the target and now deploy to it using that Azure app registration that we created. And that's it. That's how you add your Azure credentials into Octopus using the service principle and an Azure app registration. If you have a question on how to use Octopus or how to do a certain task within Octopus, email advice at octopus.com. Someone from my team will get you an answer and you may even see that answer in a future video. All right, thanks everybody for viewing and until next time, happy deployments.